So, greetings, what's up, words and turd birds. Uh, here's a thrown together video. Here's the Fender Rhodes Mark II 73 stage. Going through Leslie 60 cabinets, mic'd with SN58A mics, going into the Motu Audio Express. Right, so it doesn't go through my Mackie mixer array. The mics, miking the roads, go right into the Audio Express and straight into the computer. All of the rest of the keyboard gear goes through my Mackie mixers, right, of which I monitor with my NS10s. So here's the Mark II going through the Leslie's. <laughs> edition of the SY99 courtesy Frank Pittman playing the U220 upright bass on the left side of the keyboard. SY99 is one of the internal patches from the SY99, uh, which I don't know what it is, and also is triggering my wave station AD in the rack. sound on this side and then the other side is my RD 300 S straight the S 90 that I recently acquired with the PLG 150 plug-in and it is triggering its own internal acoustic piano sound <laughs> S90's MIDI outputs splitting into a MIDI merge box going to an SC55 sound canvas and a TX802 both with their own MIDI control slider and I have a foot pedal set up which is why I need the merge box which chooses the presets on the 55 and the 802 and I can fade them in underneath the piano sound. two Rhodes MIDI times two S90 RD300 and then here is the live rig that I've been playing on for the last 20 years which is my DX72 FD and a DS8 which are acting as controllers which go to a eight space rack that's hidden over here and with an Oberheim module and I've got that set up to play Hammond organ with left hand bass on this bottom part of the keyboard, lower manual on 
the top part of the DX, an upper manual on this. So here is my Hammond, replete with both manuals. So I can play bass here or here. So, needless to say, this is a permutation of a live rig that I've played on for 20 years, and I didn't even demonstrate that the organ patch is just one of 34 presets. So, when I call up presets on the DX7, it calls, throws patches out to a MIDI control patch bay in the rack, which picks tone modules from an eight space rack that's back here and the organ module. So on these two keyboards alone, I have enough basic sounds to play any gig, clav, acoustic piano, electric piano, and they're set up s nicely so that whatever's on the bottom is complemented by what's on the top. Uh, I'll show a little bit of that.
So those were my have been my gig sounds for since 1996. I'm up there to cover any gig, including two patches for left hand bass, but that has now been integrated with my other weighted 88 note keyboard in this MX61 and my restored Rhodes and this SY99. So now I have a complete complement of every available sound, including a setup to sequence uh, on Digital Performer. So I've got modules in the rack that are not hooked into either any of this that the computer will use uh, whenever I need to do um, a project of some kind. So I'll record uh, Fender Bass. I can record the roads through the mics. And I've got a handful of modules, including the Procrustion for drums, so that I can do a sequence of a basic band. And then this has been basically the new uh, chapter of this is live setup. So here is my must be the most evolved live uh, setup that I've had ever uh, integrating this one previous live, which was only two five octave keyboards, but now with the Rhodes and SY99 and the S90 and the RD300 and the MX61 and a handful of tone modules. So pretty 